Start off with Cassidy Griffin. Her parents are Marlene and Travis Griffin. One memory she has of her core memories from high school was when I coughed so hard that I threw up in front of everyone at a football game. She's part of FFA and Sources of Strength, and she decided to attend Morgan Community College in the fall of 2022, and she'll be studying physical therapy to become a physical therapist assistant. And again, she's escorted tonight by number three, Austin Sis. Parents are Sarah and Scott Metzger. One of my favorite memories of high school life is when we went online and I had Sam, Q, and K-Dog over and we did school in my hot tub. And he's a fan of football, wrestling, and baseball. And out of high school he plans on going to college to get an aviation degree and later become a pilot. Again, Austin Sis escorting Cassidy Griffith. Next, Kylie Kendall, escorted by Cesar Hinojos. <laughs> Kylie Kendall, her parent, is April Kendall. At a basketball game, Caden Schwint made wooden beat knife, and Kennedy was hitting on it on the railing, excuse me, and then sharp, and the sharp end flew off and almost hit a cheerleader in the head and we were starting to freak out trying to hide from the cheer coach it was confiscated and we did apologize it's one of her memories she'll be playing tennis in the spring and she has been a part of FBLA for all four years of school she's planning on attending college in Texas and seek a career in the medical field again she's escorted by number 28 Sessa Inojo Parents are Samuel Inojos and Maria Inojos. The atmosphere is one of his memories here of every home basketball game when everyone is cheering and going crazy during our games. Sports, football, basketball, baseball, and trying to join track this year. Clubs he's involved are in Student Council, Fellowship of Christian Athletics, and FBLA. He plans on going to a junior college to hopefully play college basketball there after basketball I will be pursuing a degree in construction management. Again, Kylie Kendall, escorted by Cesar Inojo. Next is Serena Ortega, escorted by Izzy Hernandez. Serena Ortega and her parents are Stephanie Garcia and Samson Ortega. One of her memories of high school life was fight night during my freshman year and then she is involved in cheer and talent search and she plans on the school of botanical and medical aesthetics in denver again she is escorted by number 53 izzy hernandez his mom is maria hernandez and one of his favorite memory is when i got a couple of my buds to go shirtless to a basketball game. Even though we got talked to, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I plan to do it again this year. Sports, he plays football, as well as baseball, and he's also involved in student council and FCA. He plans on attending a trade school and be pursuing a vocational degree to become an electrician. Again, that's Serena Ortega, escorted by Izzy Hernandez. And our last couple, Kennedy Bruner, escorted by Jonathan Becker. <laughs> Kennedy Bruner, parents are Ben and Jamie Bruner. Her freshman year, my older sister Kylie and I went to Willow's after school and as we were leaving, we backed into the giant pole behind us. We found out why there was padding around the pole that day. She participates in volleyball, club volleyball, FBLA, and tennis this spring. She plans on to uh, attending either Colorado State University or the University of Northern Texas for either civil engineering or a real, real estate business degree. And she is escorted, Kennedy Brenner, by 
Number nine, Jonathan Becker. His parents are Heath and Suzanne Becker. One memory in high school, quarantine. This kid's worth a thousand words here. What sport? Football. Plans? He's gonna join the Marines, job infantry. Again, that's Kennedy Brenner, escorted by Jonathan Becker. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Your homecoming king, 2021-2022, Jonathan Becker. He will be crowning your 2021-2022 homecoming queen, who is... Kennedy Bruner! Your royalty! Jonathan Becker and Kennedy Bruner are your homecoming king and queen, 2021-2022. Round of applause for all of our candidates.